Hey folks, tonight as I sit here and enjoy this beautiful sunset in Dunkirk uh, on Lake Erie, New York, uh, I'd like to read and share with you from the book of Genesis chapter 1, where we read how God created the heavens and earth. This is how it all began. You ready? Join with me tonight as we look at Genesis chapter 1 and enjoy this magnificent sunset. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was formless and void. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And there was evening. And there was morning. One day. Then God said, Let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters. And let it separate the waters from the waters. God made the expanse and separated the waters which were below the expanse from the waters which were above the expanse and it was so. God called the expanse heaven. And there was the evening and there was morning. The second day. Then God said, Let the waters below the heavens be gathered into one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth. And the gathering of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees on the earth, bearing fruit after their own kind with seed in them. After their kind, and God saw that it was good. Oh, our sun is Gently fading away, goes behind that wee misty wall over there on the Canadian side as we go. The earth brought forth vegetation and plants yielding seed after their own kind. Zoom out a wee bit here. Oh, it's a daisy. Lost my place here, I apologise. Then there was evening, there was morning, a third day. Then God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And let them be for lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights. The greater light to govern the day and the lesser night, light to govern the night. The moon should be behind the night. That moon was directly behind me, but I'm not seeing it right now. I don't see it anywhere. Maybe we'll see it later, eh? Hopefully, eh? God placed them in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth and to govern the day and the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. There was evening, and there was morning, a fourth day. Then God said, Let the waters teem with swarms of living creatures. Let birds fly above the earth in the open expanse of the heavens. God created the great sea monsters, and every living creature that moves with which the waters swarmed after their kind, and every winged bird, 
After it, so unkind, and God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. There was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. Then God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures after their kind, cattle and creeping things, and beasts of the earth after their kind, and it was so. God made the beasts of the earth after their kind, and the cattle after their kind, and everything that creeps on the ground after its kind, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, all right, guys, let us make man in our own image now, according to our likeness, and let them rule over the fishing of the sea, and over the birds of the sky, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth. Subdue it, rule over the fish of the sea, rule over the birds of the sky, and over every living creature that moves on the earth. Then God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the surface of the earth. Every tree that has tree, fruit yielding seed, it shall be food for you. And to every beast of the earth, and every bird of the sky, and to everything that moves on the earth which has life, I've given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw all that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thank you, everybody. And us for the reading of Genesis chapter 1, where we saw how God created heaven and earth, and every living creature, including humans as well, and all the plants, everything that we get to enjoy in life. God, God himself, created it all. And he tells us who. That's great news, folks, great news. Enjoy the rest of your evening. This is Brian Roxton, the wandering Scotsman here in Dunkirk, New York. Ta-ta for now. Be blessed. Shlunty!